We're at Ketchumacujic National Park, getting a fall trip in before the campground closes for the season. We've been using our trailer now for a few months, and we figure we'll give you a tour and the pros and cons so far. We are Kirsty and Les, and we explore the Canadian Maritime Provinces with our three dogs. Join us each week as we visit some of our favorite places and discover new ones along the way. This year we picked up our first ever camper trailer. It's a 2022 Viking 9.0 TDV. The trailer came with a 20 pound propane tank, a battery, which we'll discuss later on, and a full size 15 inch spare tire, which we did relocate, just trying to get some clearance from underneath it. This model comes with an air conditioner overhead and lots of storage underneath on both sides. This model of trailer is a teardrop design that opens up via pneumatic struts. Our trailer has an exterior shower, great for washing the dogs. There's a discharge for the inside sink. There's the propane furnace discharge exhaust, as well as the rack here for the propane barbecue with a light above it. And down the bottom, there's a quick connect for the propane so we don't even have to plumb the second cylinder. On the driver's side, there's the water heater. So it's great that we can have some hot water inside. There's a city hookup so we can plumb straight from a water supply or there's a 16 gallon tank that we can have supplied like we are right now. Then right next to that, we've got the hookup for our solar panel, which came with the trailer. And down the very back, we've got a 30 amp hookup. So we can either plumb it in like we did today, or we can use our generator. On the rear, there's Bluetooth speakers one on the other side with some lighting with them. Then there's also a tether point these trailers are marked as dog friendly, which means that there's a nice anchor point, which we use for Mersey. There's also a half door and a full door. The half door for when we're mobile, then when we stop and set up the trailer, we pull out the full door and have it so it's fully enclosed. Inside, there's a full-size bed that's large enough for two adults and three cattle dogs. Underneath the bed, you can gain access to the outside storage, as well as a propane heater. To top it off, there's two windows, one on either side, towards the head of the bed. There's a sink and a small counter space on the right-hand side when you go in, as well as covered underneath with the furnace on the bottom. There's a 12 volt portable fridge on the right side to top off that side. And then on the left side, there's a small bench that we can change our shoes, what have you, and a cupboard underneath that. There are overhead lights and also charging stations that have 12 volt outlets as well as USB ports. Next to that, there's 120 volt outlets that we can use as long as the trailer's plugged in. For safety feature wise, the trailer has a smoke detector a small single-use fire extinguisher, which hopefully we never need, as well as a carbon monoxide slash propane detector. Now that we've given you a tour, let's talk about the pros and cons of the Viking 9.0 TDV. The trailer is small and light, meaning it's easily pulled by the Jeep, and it has larger tires, giving us more clearance, which allows us to access more remote campsites. On the con side of that, the spare tire was underneath the ton, really reducing the clearance of it. So we did put it on the side mount with an aftermarket factor, and we still think we're gonna to have to raise it a little bit higher. Also around the ton is the inability to open the tailgate of the Jeep fully when the ton's placed there. It's more of a Jeep trailer combination problem, but it did involve us moving the jack stand of the trailer just so we can disconnect it quicker. The trailer did come with a solar panel, which is pretty cool. But the battery that it came with was rather uh, below standards for our use, so we did already have to replace it with a deep cycle battery. Although the trailer is small and compact, there is standing room inside. However, the small size means it gets really warm inside quickly, especially on summer nights, and the AC only works if you're connected to shore power, so it doesn't do you any good if you're overlanding or boondocking. The trailer does have hot and cold running water, which is a bonus having the propane water heater, but there's no gray tank storage, 
So the water discharge just comes out of the pasture side of the trailer. And we do have a hose hooked up there trying to redirect it, but it still can make a muddy mess when you're walking around. The trailer is much more comfortable than sleeping on the ground uh, in a tent or on an air mattress that deflates, but the mattress wasn't that great. So we did add a foam topper to it to make it more comfortable. And believe it or not, all three dogs do fit on the bed with us. The package of trailer that we bought is an off-road capable one. It comes with a porta potty, but unfortunately that's a chemical toilet which we decided not to use so we don't have to haul the chemicals around. The trailer is easy and quick to set up and take down, but the full door has to be transported inside on the bed and it can be a little bit tricky to set up. All Viking 9.0 and 12.0 trailers come with out room screen rooms that attach to the backside. They are cumbersome to set up, time consuming, and they don't really give much rain protection. So we decided not even to use ours anymore we just use larger tarps and just tie them to trees around there. Gives a lot more rain protection that way. The trailer has lots of outside storage on either side, so there's lots of room for things like our camping chairs and propane fireplace, those types of things. However, there's not very much storage inside with just those two small cupboards, so there's no place to keep our bags of clothing, that type of thing. So they often end up either on the bed or on the counter or just kind of everywhere. <laughs> Overall, we're happy with our Viking 9.0 TDV trailer. There's room for the two people and three dogs under 30 pounds. And we like the freedom of being able to camp off the beaten path, but yet we still be able to sleep in our own bed. Will we eventually consider another setup? Probably, but not in the near future. Would this type of trailer work for you? Or do you have any questions? Let us know in the comments and check out some of our previous camping videos to see the trailer in action. Thanks for watching. Now we're off to our next adventure.